I did not think this could get worse. This is the single strangest package I've ever received in my entire life. But for that to make complete sense, we need to understand Escobar's. So, Pablo Escobar was the biggest drug lord of all time. At the peak of his career, this one man controlled 80% of the cocaine across the entire United States. And that made him the kind of money that's honestly tough to wrap your head around. There was a point where Escobar was earning $420 million per week. Or in other words, $42,000, enough to buy a Tesla, or 4,200 copies of my favorite t-shirt, every single minute. But in 1993, he was killed in a shootout, trying to run from the police. And while a lot of his wealth was repossessed by the government, it looks like there was a significant amount that wasn't. Because in 2015, Escobar Inc. was registered, a company founded by Pablo Escobar's brother, very openly claiming to be taken care of and trying to grow the cash made by the Escobars. There isn't an ounce of subtlety here. The site literally boasts about how its founder was the chief of assassinations of the drug cartel. It highlights all the people and companies that they've tried to sue in the past. Even their current mailing address is still in Medellin, where the cartel originated from. And they're just as brash when it comes to how they've tried to grow this money. We're not talking nice diversified investments in a portfolio of stocks and shares. Escobar Inc. has tended to prefer scamming people. <laughs> creating these get-rich-fast schemes that try to quickly flip thousands into millions and then just disappearing before it catches up with them. And I've experienced two of them firsthand. In 2019, they sent me the Escobar Fold 2. This phone launched alongside some very revealing trailers, showing how they were about to very literally destroy Samsung's foldables. Except that's going to be tough, because turns out the Escobar Fold 2 was a Samsung foldable with stickers on it. I mean, just imagine if Samsung started slapping Apple stickers onto their phones and selling them as iPhones. It is unbelievable. And more importantly, no one who paid for one actually got one. But then in 2020, they took this to the next level with a new phone called the Gold 11 Pro. Again, super flashy trailers, a whole host of barely dressed European models finding the most bizarre ways to physically destroy their competition. Oh yeah, and this narrator. <laughs> The Escobar Gold 11 Pro it works just like an iPhone. You just won't get one. <laughs> Not putting that in. But the difference this time is that they had a much more convincing narrative. They did acknowledge that this Gold 11 Pro was just an iPhone. And the angle that they took instead was that Apple is overcharging you. So what we've done is bought damaged iPhones and repaired them. That's the only reason we're able to sell you a Gold 11 Pro for half the price of an iPhone 11 Pro. You almost want to believe it. They'd even gone to the extent of creating fake damage reports that showed in what way they had to repair each model. But underneath the rhetoric was the exact same scheme. No paying customer received their phone. And that leads us to this. My third craziest, most elaborate encounter with this company. What is the single fastest way to get wealthy? Cause uh, that's what they've just done. Escobar is now officially printing money. Oh gosh. This is not a joke. Zero, zero, zero. Yep. This one note right here is 100,000 Escobar cash. I actually have four of them in here. And then also in this hard back sleeve, a one million note. You don't see that every day. And this doesn't look like some sort of half-baked, take someone else's thing and add a sticker to it kind of deal. There's a full white paper explaining the technology. These guys have, these guys have written a book about this, which Milo really enjoyed actually. There's even an Escobar Cash app that's live now on the Play Store and the Apple App Store. In fact, this isn't just money. Escobar is claiming that what you're looking at right now is world's first hybrid cryptocurrency. So a currency with all the peace of mind of being able to hold your physical cash in your hand, but all the conveniences of also being able to store it digitally on your phone. So best of both worlds, or is it? It means that say you wanted to pay someone, you could either hand your note to them in person, or alternatively, the notes also hold a balance of virtual Escobar cash that you could then retrieve onto your phone to make that payment as a cryptocurrency. And let me show you. So I've got the Escobar app open here. 
Obviously I'm using Surfshark VPN to keep me anonymous. If I want to check that a note is valid, I can turn it over and enter both this five digit serial number and these three control words, which are unique to every note. And it'll tell me, yeah, this is valid, it's a real note. And then if I decide that I do want to redeem it, I can take a coin, scratch off this metal bit and scan it. And that will extract this 100,000 of Escobar cash, ECH, into my wallet. I could see how this might seem like a fairly solid system. As for what exactly this virtual currency is, Escobar's saying that they've taken an existing cryptocurrency and they've created their own version of it. It's known in the industry as making a fork. And it is a legit thing that you can do. Like for example, there have been tons of communities who are unhappy with certain features of Bitcoin. And so they've made forks of Bitcoin that work in what they think is an improved way. For example, you've got ones like Bitcoin Gold or Bitcoin Cash. So in Escobar's case, they've taken a currency called Ripple, which is currently selling for about 80 cents per coin and made Escobar cash based on that. And here's why. What they're saying to people is, look, you can see through the success of Ripple and the fact that, well, our currency is basically the same as Ripple, that ours too could be worth 80 cents per coin. So buy it at its current price, which works out to about 0.1 cent per coin, wait until the value goes up, sell it, and then become a very rich person indeed. That's their idea. But this is why I think you should stay well away. It starts bad, and the more you think about it, the worse it gets. Okay, let's kick things off with these notes, shall we? A physical cryptocurrency makes about as much sense as a breadless sandwich. Tuna mayo. Tuna of all sandwiches. <laughs> See, the reason that normal physical currency works is that it holds its value. I hand it to you to pay for something, you can hand it to someone else, they can hand it to someone else. But the way that this works is that as soon as a note has been redeemed, as soon as that balance has been extracted into someone's virtual wallet, this isn't worth anything. No one can redeem it again, and so really, this isn't a physical currency. This is a gift card. It's just a channel through which to get people to buy the cryptocurrency. But more importantly, if the only thing securing my 100,000 Escobar cash is this seal right here, I mean, that's a sticker. And yes, if you try to peel one in a hurry, like I did here, you probably will destroy your note. But if you're careful with it, you can pretty easily take that sticker off, scan that QR code, extract the balance from the note, and then put the sticker back on. I mean, who's gonna know? And then from there, the whole physical aspect of this currency comes crashing down. Because before you pay someone with one of these, they're gonna wanna check your QR code to make sure no one's redeemed it. So they're gonna have to get a coin and scratch this sticker off in front of you. But then at that point, with their now scratched up excuse for a note, when they want to pay with this in the future, who's going to accept it? Not to mention the simple fact that most key currencies around the world are waterproof and tearproof. However, this, is not. There's an even more fundamental problem though, because even once you get your virtual money, what do you do with it? Something's fishy here, and I'm not talking about the tuner I just slapped. Escobar Cash isn't listed on any exchange platform like Coinbase where currencies are traded, so as of right now, even if it could one day be worth thousands, it's actually worth well, zero. Plus, because there's no exchange, I can't swap this for pounds or dollars or any other cryptocurrency. And I highly doubt that there are shops out there that I can use it to buy anything with. <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah. Do you guys take Escobar cash? What's that? Uh, Escobar, I've got a million, a million no. Escobar. You don't? No, sorry. Oh. You, what do you take? Just, just pounds. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, thank you. Just to make this very clear, we have a physical currency that's just a gift card to own a digital currency that you can't spend anywhere. As if it needed to get any worse, the app isn't even letting me add this useless currency into my useless virtual wallet. I scan it and nothing happens. At this point, it is literally the equivalent of buying Monopoly money, but probably worth less because can't use it in Monopoly. If you're finding this as ridiculous as I am, then a sub to the channel would be rich. So long story short, I've been talking to Brian Jung about this. He's a big crypto guy on YouTube and we think there's one of two things going on here. The first being that, well, I mean, Escobar Inc. do say in their roadmap here that they plan to add Escobar Cash onto exchanges this year. And 
maybe they will. If they follow through on that, then more than likely Escobar Cash is a classic pump and dump scheme, where someone creates a cryptocurrency, which isn't as time consuming as you might think. You don't need a bank or the government's permission, just a few thousand dollars, which these guys definitely have. They'll then start generating hype, telling people how revolutionary this one-of-a-kind hybrid currency is to get them to buy in and inflate its perceived value. And then as soon as it picks up and starts trending for a healthy price, the creators, who will have kept a large proportion of these coins to themselves, will sell everything they have for a profit and then disappear into thin air. It's actually already happened before. We quickly realized that Escobar Cash isn't the company's only attempt at crypto. Back in 2019, the Escobars also launched a coin called Diet Bitcoin, which started low, began to grow, and once they started selling, their stock completely crashed to now $0.0001. That's one possibility. The other one being that, actually, they have no plans to list Escobar Cash onto exchanges at all, and that they're instead planning to make their money from people who are expecting them to list it, and so who spent thousands of their real money buying these coins in anticipation of that. Primarily people who aren't familiar with crypto. The kind of people who swear by traditional banks and notes and might well be swayed by the concept of a cryptocurrency that can also be like that. Whichever route they go down, rest assured, customer satisfaction will not be top of the agenda. Okay, here's something about me. I have four monthly subscriptions going on right now. I have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Spotify Premium, and Surfshark VPN. And Surfshark is not just the one I use the most, it is also the cheapest. It's not $10 or $5, it is $2.49 a month, which split between the seven people that actually use it is 36 cents. And that 36 cents gets me better prices for products that are using browser cookies to try and make things more expensive, access to the full internet, including sites that are traditionally blocked in my region, like TV shows from the US, and anonymity. Every minute that you spend online, companies are recording who you are and what you're doing. Which means that even if they don't necessarily have any nefarious intentions, when there's a data breach, that info can fall into the hands of someone who does. So, give it a go. And if you hit the link in the description or use the code BOSS, then you're not just getting it for that $249 price, but you're also getting an extra three months for free on top of that. And it's all fully redeemable if you don't like it. To check out a flagship phone that shocked me, click here. Or for 21 heavenly inventions that are saving the planet, click here. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.